With the Cold War looming, President John F. Kennedy identified the need for more unconventional warfare capabilities in the U.S. military. January 1962, the Navy answered by creating the SEAL teams. These commandos were trained to operate in all environments, sea, air, and land, from which they get their name. They first commissioned SEAL Team 1 in San Diego, California, and SEAL Team 2 in Little Creek, Virginia. These commands were tasked to conduct small unit, high impact, clandestine guerrilla warfare in maritime and riverine environments. Areas where larger forces find it difficult, if not impossible, to operate in. The SEAL teams were formed using the legendary frogmen from the already existing UDT, or Underwater Demolition Team. The Vietnam War was the proving ground for these naval commandos. Their unorthodox tactics and fearsome combat effectiveness led to the Viet Cong calling them devils with green faces. Here, the SEAL gained the almost mythical reputation they have today. From their creation until now, the Navy SEALs have taken the lead in virtually every U.S. military action. SEALs also operate in remote or urban areas with climate extremes of sweltering deserts, humid jungles, or the frigid Arctic. Currently, there are more than 5,400 active duty, reserve, and support personnel in the SEAL community. All the elements of naval special warfare are vital to the defense of the United States. From Washington, I'm Petty Officer Dale Patrick Frost. Mm -hmm.